So hurricane versus sump pump, which, you know, what are you going to do? Power's going to go out, those kind of things. We're going to talk about that. I'm over here at uh, St. Augustine Beach, a little place called Spyglass. Take a look here. You can kind of see we're right in front of the hurricane. It's about six or eight hours from us right now. And these are just the beginning of the rain bands, the very beginning. Wind's only blowing about 10 knots, but here by 6 p.m. tonight should be you know, around 40, 50 miles an hour or more. So just take a look. So I'm here at Matanzas Inlet. We're about six or eight hours in front of the hurricane. And you can kind of see just a beautiful day. Hard to believe that there's a hurricane coming. Floridians are very prepared for you know, hurricanes. COVID, that's a whole nother story. But take a look, just, it's just beautiful, just beautiful. This is Matanzas Inlet, you can see the inlet just down there. This is one of my favorite surf spots. Uh, Flagler County, St. Johns County, they actually close the water to swimming. So this video is really about you know, hurricane versus sump pump. And you know, during a hurricane, of course, you know, definitely the, the power can easily go out. Here in Florida, most everything, the power transmission is above ground. Take a look. You can see it over there. All the transmission wires are above ground. And what that means is that when a big storm comes, that those transformers start to shake and rock and the transformer is really just a breaker, like a breaker in your box. And when that trips, of course the power goes out until someone comes and resets that breaker. So power usually goes out, you know, two, three hours, sometimes less, sometimes more. It depends on the strength of the hurricane. But if you're concerned about system, you know, for example, when we install a footer system and we've got all that footer pipe running around the foundation of the home, and it goes over to a sump pump. The sump pump lifts it up and sends it out. The way that system works, and I'm, I'm telling you from experience and from so many customers that call, power goes out, but the system moves so much water in advance that they don't have any problems. And we have a 100% success rate with our systems, whether power comes on or goes off, makes no difference. The systems work really good. But if you're concerned about you know, power going out, a lot of people ask about the battery backup. Battery backups, they're great for a basement um, you know, to help remove some of that water. But to power you know, and move as, as much water as the M98, they don't even come close. Remember that M98, it moves nearly 100 gallons a minute. And you know, a battery backup system, you know, one of the best might move 12 gallons a minute. Yeah, sure, it moves water, but it doesn't keep up with anything, and I wouldn't recommend it. I would recommend, if you're that concerned about power going out, that you use a generator. So I just showed you the ocean side, and this is the sound side. So in other words, this is the intercoastal, and it's low tide. Take a look. A lot of people out enjoying the afternoon. You would never know there's a hurricane coming. Never. But I promise you that all these Floridians are very prepared for this hurricane. As for the COVID, well, you can see they're kind of distancing. There's no mask and low tide. You can walk pretty far out here into the sound. It's, it's a good, good, fun walk. Nice warm water. I think the water is right now at 84 degrees. Beautiful day. In just a few hours, six or eight hours, that hurricane is going to be just offshore and the winds are going to pick up and the rain's really going to be coming down. Uh, expected, you know, 14, 16, 18 inches of rain. Um, it's going to rain for, you know, a day completely. And so the question is, hurricane versus sump pump. What happens when that power goes out? Let's take a look. Okay, hurricane versus sump pumps. You know, whenever I sell a, a system that we put a sump pump down in the ground, the first question someone's going to ask me is, you know, what happens when the power goes out? You know, during a hurricane here in Florida, yeah, that power is going to go out. There's no doubt about it. Most of the lines are above ground. In other words, all the transmission lines are above ground. So this generator is from Harbor Freight, and I think it was uh, 250 bucks. 
you know, this was this is five years old, and I mean, I bet you they're only $160 now. But this is what I would recommend if you're worried about your power going out. You need a generator. It's that simple. And you know, this one's four or five years old. You can see it starts right up, runs great. We can actually run air conditioner if we wanted to. We can run several things off of here if we wanted to. But the only reason we have this is for, for the sump pumps. Okay, so we got our uh, generator running. And again, if you're really worried about all that, you could buy a generator. I'm gonna kick on this pump and you should hear that generator actually put a load on it. You hear it? But we know it's working good. There's just no water here in the pit. But, yeah. So when I sell a system, you know, I always recommend that you put in, that you buy it, if you're worried about power going out, buy a generator. It's just that simple. And it will work great. The generator will run 10, 12 hours. Um, you can run your air conditioner as well. A great little investment. So, Last year I showed you guys, you know, installing a battery backup. And this is just out here in the front in the swale. And you can see we've got the inch and a half pipe ready to put in a much bigger pump if needed. And then we've just got the smaller battery backup. This is a 12 volt system. It pumps about 12 gallons a minute. It's very slow. And we've got the discharge is just a garden hose and it runs out. And what I use this for is as this area fills up as the swell fills up with water it stays full for weeks and weeks so I can actually make a fountain and I use the 12 volt system to run this down through and you can see there's the sprinkler head sticking up there um, we can make a fountain with this or I could water the yard because this stays underwater for weeks at a time after a hurricane it takes a long time for that water to dissipate the collection is the catch basin right there so the water always comes in we've always got a full basin of water when this swale is full and the, the little pump the 12 volt system it works great just for that as far as you know dewatering um, when we put in the, the footer pipes and things like that the battery backup is not fast enough and I do not recommend it I would strongly recommend the generator so if you're concerned about that power going out during a hurricane or even a thunderstorm, there's lots of options. One would be to get that generator. That's the best option of all. You know, $150 to $200 and you're all set. And that will, the, the generator will run with a full tank of fuel 10, 12 hours. I mean, it will easily be able to keep up with, you know, any amount of power outage that you have. You could also do solar panels. I've installed, you know, solar backups. Um, on roofs and here 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 at the office you can see we've got lots of power with lots of battery backup and we've got lots of panels up on the roof basically I can put an inverter onto the system and power that pump the M98 directly the inverter you know creates the AC power and it works great but in all, all honesty the best bet here is to get a generator if you're that concerned about power going out then I would get a generator so one final note you know, the way that the system works is your sump pump's gonna collect all that water from the French drains. That's gonna move all the water over to the sump basin. The sump pump lifts it up and sends it out. What happens during a big storm is most of the time that pump has moved more than enough water so that if the power goes out, now we've got such a capacity to have water go into the system that even if the power's out, it's working great and it still protects your foundation yeah if it's out for you know powers out for two or three days then of course you've, you've got to put something on there and power that pump and that's where the generator comes in but knock on wood all of the jobs hundreds of jobs that we install none of them have problems through a hurricane absolutely zero we have a hundred percent success rate so in just that short period of time that we made these little videos you know our weather's starting to deteriorate we still have sunshine winds picking up i would say that you know this evening probably by five or six o'clock we should start to see winds 40 50 miles an hour and of course that rain begins to fall hurricanes even if they're offshore and they pass the coast they're going to produce all kinds of, of water and I would expect anywhere from 14 to 20 inches of rain over the next day. So, you know, our systems, when we install a system, believe me, they work. And knock on wood, but we have a 100% success rate. 100% success rate.
Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Days, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day. Are you ready to take on one of these projects yourself? Go ahead and subscribe. Learn how to do this the proper way.